Monday 31st of July was to be my last day in St. Louis and I obviously couldn't leave the city without checking out the Getaway Arch. First, we visited the museum, which is located below the arch. It's free and it covers 200 years of history about the westward expansion of the United States. It's pretty amazing because it goes from the founding of St. Louis in 1764 to the bowling of the Gateway Arch, which was completed in 1965. Time to take a ride to the top of the nation's tallest monument. Trams are a one-of-a-kind invention. They were built in only two weeks. Each capsule rotates approximately 155 degrees during the trip to the top of the arch, and it's a four-minute ride to the top and a three-minute ride back down. And once at the top, you can enjoy an incredible 360-degree views. After that, I went back to my hotel, I did a little bit of french tastic work, I entered the pool, I had the pool just for myself for like an hour, which was amazing, they had a pool, but that, that, that was really cool. And then I decided, because I was located, my hotel was in Central, so I decided that it was time to check out the historic Centrals. So if I'm not wrong, I believe Centrals is the oldest city in the Missouri River, and it's a very, very cool place. It's a great shopping and dining place. There's a lot of antique shops and it's located right next to the park and the Missouri River. Thank <laughs> you. 
park is where go through the caddy trail and it's the longest bike rail trail and it has international riders so that's pretty cool I shouldn't forget to mention that it was in St. Charles in 1804 that Lewis and Clark started their amazing journey. everyone happy monday today we are the last day of july already and tomorrow i am leaving to Spokane in um, washington i think it is yeah and i'm super excited and that will be nice and oh a lot of things are gonna happen from now on i mean <laughs> so many things <laughs> happened in this few days i spent in st louis missouri and a bit of illinois crazy things guys um you probably already saw all that that was fantastic and <laughs> what's coming is gonna be fantastic as well so from now on what you're gonna see will be part of a tour so i will be with uh with people you know on a tour it's, it's something uh everything is planned and all it was kindly offered by one of my patreon <laughs> and uh and i can't wait because i'm going to see so i will be going to the glacier i never i never i can remember the way you pronounce you guys pronounce it in english and i think it's a french word so glacier national park i uh, so i'll be doing i will be going a bit of washington idaho and idaho and montana and also canada uh this trip is a what? And so I'm not sure how much I can film and all, um, but I will be doing my best to get as much great footage as possible for you guys and tell you what I think about it, obviously. And yeah, so it was just to mention that so far you've been seeing me in, in St. Louis or around like, and from now on, I will be um, going on that tour. So at different, two different places. Um, this morning I met, uh, so Caleb, the guy who's gonna take care of us, if I understood well, very nice guy. Uh, so this is so this is great. I know uh, a, a familiar face for this trip, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna I'm gonna meet some great people. I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna be very kind and all. Probably I'm definitely gonna be the only French person on that trip, and probably the only one of uh, you know my age, which I love. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm I'm always around people that are older than me, and actually, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I mean, I, I'm saying that because I I don't know how I will act with people my age, really. So I'm really like looking for being around, uh, you know, like uh, people older than me to like hear some stories, experiences, memories. It's always so interesting. Um, you know, like people that are older than me obviously have more experience in life and some of them travel and and I mean they always have something interesting to say about some places, some people, some experiences and this is some, you know, this is what I'm looking for when I'm talking to someone. It's like learning, oh yeah, so how, you know, what did you experience and all that. So yeah, I'm very eager to be, uh, you know, around this kind of people for a week. That will be awesome. We'll be going to, you know, many, many beautiful and very interesting places. So I cannot wait. So yeah, um, I'm leaving. So tomorrow, tomorrow morning for the airport and we're leaving uh, at the beginning of the afternoon to Spokane. But we're making a stop to Denver, I think, first. 
you know just connecting the flight and as it's a domestic flight i shouldn't have any problem uh which i am also looking forward to like just a smooth you know flight i mean smooth flights because there are going to be two of them so yeah that's all um i'll see you tomorrow Bye.